Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to help the channel grow. Thank you. Hey, welcome back to Triple R. Today we're going to take a look at a game called Cave Crawler. Totally free game off Steam. It's short, it's a lot of fun. It reminds me of old NES games without the old NES difficulty. So you got a couple options you can do here, not many. So you just leave that default, then you put in full screen, which looks fine. Go start tutorial, shows you can use controller or keyboard and mouse. Here's your cave crawler down here. You pick those up for score, your upper right hand corner. And then your gun here is this X and auto fires, which is nice. So you just hold it down if you need to. Uh, these do damage, these things that shine here. Your upper left hand corner is your life. And usually once per level, they're going to give you a one life back. If, well, you have to find it and then grab it. And these little stop signs are the end of the level. So we'll do another level. There's an enemy again. So a couple different enemy types you're going to find. I'm only going to do this other level here. That way, if you do want to play it, I suggest you do. You can see the other things for yourselves for the first time. And so, very short. There's your life for that level. In case you got hurt. And the jumping is very, very well controlled, pretty spot on. Got a little bit of control in the air. Everything is responsive. The gun's responsive. So which is, it's nice to, to have it be so responsive versus some of the other Steam games I've played. And the controller support is really good. So this came out in 2022 in January. Got really good reviews. Uh, the blurb is Cape Crawler is a short 2D side-scrolling action platformer. Explore caves filled with interesting enemies and fun platforming challenges. I would agree with that. Um, a lot of times you blow a lot of smoke in their, their, <laughs> their description. But this one, that's pretty spot on. It's a lot of fun to play. And if you like easy games, platforming games, or just a casual game, I think you'll, you'll like playing this. Uh, the animation on the character is pretty good. I mean, it's a simple, you know, graphic design. But that's, as long as it works right, it looks good. That's what's important. Is it on that level? We'll get a little into this. And there's another kind of not enemy type necessarily, but like hazard. And I don't believe it's there's any time limit, but there's a speed run page for it. And the speed runs are like I think a high two minutes maybe to like four minutes or six minutes might be the slowest run, but. If you're a speedrunner, it's, it's fun to speedrun. Like, it's only five levels. And it goes very quick. Like I said, being a six minute max speedrun kind of tells you. Or you can just play it casually. And it'll probably take you, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes maybe. But it, it's worth playing. I would give it a 7.5 out of 10 for what it is and what it does. It could be a little bit longer. But I think if it was too much longer, it would just be too samey. And just be kind of boring after that. Because once you do everything a couple times through the levels, you kind of see all it has to offer, which is fine, and it does everything well, which is nice. So definitely a 7.5 out of 10. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.